today what we are going to discuss fixed attenuator see here before we are going to discuss about uh, this fixed attenuator measurement first a small outline i am going to give you uh, so what is there on this particular table i will give you see this is a fixed a uh, fixed attenuator device this is nothing but a fixed attenuator device okay right it has uh, here one port here one port it is uh, see i mean uh, single directional right so what are the devices we have in this particular experiment first one plus stand power supply next one plus stand mount with the tube next uh, device isolator device next one variable attenuator next one frequency meter slotted section deductor mount oscilloscope swr meter and cooling fan okay students right right so with the help of this uh, fixed attenuation measurement with the help of this fixed attenuator device what we are going to calculate power calculation this experiment also we are going to calculate the value of power so with uh, see uh, without attenuator with the attenuator so we have to remove this deductor mount ready so we need to re remove this deductor mount here this uh, fixed attenuator you have to carry this uh, fixed attenuator to here and connect along with the uh, deductor mount then uh, make the connection from here to deductor mount i mean the C cro oscilloscope probe you have to make a connection from uh, deductor mount to cro then you have to identify the sm starting point and the ending point then remove this cable and we have to connect to swr meter and then, then we have to identify the value of power in this with the help of this device okay right precautions what are the precautions we are going to do before we are going to start up this uh, fixed attenuation measurement so beam voltage should be as of you uh, see as we discussed in the earlier section earlier experiments I, i told you that clearly beam voltage should be minimum value repeller voltage should be maximum value okay right then the modulation should be in am mode section am mode modulation always we need to keep am mode section right so this hd high tensile switch this switch also need to be off condition this is initial uh, minimum initial condition for uh, going to do any any experiments like fixed attenuation variable attenuation and uh, reflex plus on mode characteristics reflex plus on voltage characteristics right so now i am going to switch it on i switch it on this uh, plus on power supply initially it will come zero voltage i mean 002 it is uh, coming so once i am going to switch it on this hd button then the voltage it will move on uh, directly to 200 voltage then we need to set up this uh, beam voltage as uh, 210 or 215 that uh, depends upon our billing uh, uh, so see, see here i am going to keep the voltage uh, uh, maybe 210 so 210 i am keeping but instead of this uh, due to some fluctuation it comes uh, one point uh, high so 211 okay right now approximately i set it to 210 voltage so now uh, see what we need to do uh, for doing this uh, experiment so you have to note the uh, observation and lab records no note this in this mode see uh, voltage mode to current mode if you change then you may able to know that current value beam current this is nothing but a beam current 12 milliamps then uh, please now, meanwhile you have to note down uh, with the help of your observation if please you, you have to note down this value then repeller voltage identify the repeller voltage if you change the current mode to repeller mode uh, repeller mode then it is identified as repeller voltage what is the value of repeller voltage here minus 281 voltage so this uh, these three readings we have to note down initially then after that we don't want to touch it this beam voltage see so we don't want to touch this beam voltage so only we are going to vary this repeller voltage from maximum position to minimum position while varying this so we need to identify the maximum position and the minimum position so first of all we are going to calculate the value of so after identifying after identifying the maximum value see what i am doing students see here slowly i am doing this repeller voltage from maximum position to minimum position i mean i am rotating clockwise uh, so i am rotating not clockwise i am rotating and the clockwise direction so while rotating from uh, while minimizing repeller voltage from maximum voltage to minimum voltage so meanwhile we have to identify this uh, cr so in cr so we need to get uh, what is that we need to get maximum value some value you need to get see here see the cr so i am going to change uh, minimum value to maximum see uh, while varying this see i am getting the signal on the uh, oscilloscope this maximum point is so maximum point 174 so max we need to identify, identify the starting point and the ending points students right? so, so this is uh, one the starting point is 175 or 174 uh, volt okay the ending point should be while decreasing this value here the uh, waveform should be in what in phase need to come in phase see here see slowly i'm decreasing decreasing waveform also slowly decreasing so, see here carefully 
so now uh, it is uh, all signal peak value should be in in case this is nothing but ending point what is the ending point here now you have to uh, no, note down carefully on plus on power supply display we are getting the value minus 166 is ending point so with the help of this readings we are going to identify the without attenuator now up to now we are not at all connected fixed attenuator only we have a deductor mount so without attenuator what is the power we need to calculate so now we identify again i am moving i am going to identify the maximum position keep maximum position then you switch it off this oscilloscope remove this cro probe from this oscilloscope then i am going to connect make i am going to make a connection to swr meter okay please listen carefully so now once i identified the maximum point so max we need to keep at the maximum point here then you remove the oscilloscope probe from oscilloscope uh, uh, to then we have to make a connection to swr meter right so now i switch it on the swr meter i will so after switch it on it will display over range and the switch range over range means we have to decrease so we have to decrease the value so again you have to decrease you, you will get some value power value now see the display here you will get minus 9.70 decibel is there what is the unit of power decibel this particular value this knob is there no this knob value but see this knob where it is going to touch it is going to be indicated it is going to be linked with the 20 value so this 20 value and this 9.70 9 minus 9.70 db also add together if you going to add together this is nothing but a p1 value i mean without a without attenuator without fixed attenuator what is the power what is the power 20 plus 9 29.70 db minus 29.70 db we are to know down that is p1 okay you understood now without attenuator we uh, identified the power value same i am doing here same what i am going to do i am going to remove i am going to remove uh, this deductor mount so along with this deductor mount now i am going to connect with attenuator with attenuator what is the power we are going to calculate okay right just i removed i removed the deductor mount see here in attenuator fixed attenuator in inside there is a slot is there there is a slot no this indicate what is that what this indicate attenuator fung it will used to attenuate the signal from input to output right i am going to connect this fixed attenuator while making connection we need to keep this uh, what is a fixed attenuator based on this position based on this deductor mount position we need to keep this connection properly if you going to keep connection like this then there is a chance of getting reflection on refra refraction okay so listen carefully see like this uh, we need to keep the connection okay just i am going to make a connection now what we are going what we are going to do with the attenuator what is the power we are going to calculate okay i see here every one of you so with now i connected fixed attenuator now i connected fixed attenuator again i am getting switch range whenever you are getting the switch range so we have to vary towards up so now it is generating the value uh, minus 4.90 you are getting the value this value and this value we need to add so 4.80 plus 30 34.80 that is with with the attenuator what is the value 30 plus 5 35 you see minus 35 point see here i am not at all uh, see here. so after connecting this yes so after connecting this uh, fixed attenuator what is the value we are, we are getting on the display uh, for example for, for minus 4.90 db is there so here what we have 30 is there so this value on this value we need to add so 30 plus 5 35.20 db this is nothing but with the attenuator value with the attenuator we are getting some value without attenuator we calculate the power then with the help of these two readings we are going to calculate the remaining calculation so thank you if you have any queries please comment please in my uh, uh, channel so thank you for watching